Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and bring out our first single lady. Hello, hello, welcome in. What's hello. your name? Corey. Corey, how old are you? I am 25. 25, and uh, what do you do, Corey? I am an entrepreneur and a real estate investor okay. and a model, but you know, a lot of multiple things. There we go. She come out with this get up on like she going to the Grammys. Uh -huh. Who is this? Um, who's the hottest singer out right now? SZA or something? I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. You can't name one and then be talking about wild, raunchy stuff. That's crazy. But listen, she here. She dressed to impress. I'm here for it. She ain't up here wearing, you know, blue jeans and t-shirts. Huh? Is, is she overdressed? I guess that's the thing, too. Overdressed underdressed <laughs> hey she ain't blowed out she ain't blowed out she ain't got weird loose flesh hanging unsightly gut hanging none of that so hey listen here you gotta take your w's where you can okay okay and so um corey what do you look for in a man <sighs> i look for a genuine um basically the opposite of me so okay. basically i can describe me and that's what i would love in a man so attentive caring kind genuine down to earth mm -hmm. you know and caring okay really really caring <laughs> all right and so what do you like to do for fun i love to sew and draw uh -huh. okay <laughs> that's what i do at my fun time nice and so like Cool. I made dresses. So I made this. All right. Uh, that is a beautiful dress. Thank yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You. So, Corey, not one balloon has been popped yet. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to actually switch it all over to you now. Okay. So, sir, if I can have your toothpick. Thank you very much. Let me hand this over to you. So, first round, I know is always a little <laughs> bit hard because you're gonna have to do it just strictly off of looks. You don't know them or anything like that. So I'm gonna have you pop two balloons of two guys who are not your type. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can still pop those two. We'll go back to him <laughs> shortly. <laughs> and you can pop the two and then I'll go ahead and ask you why you ended up popping. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You just go whenever um, you're ready. Just go. Yeah. Okay, just based off of looks. Strictly right? off looks, just yeah, for this first looks. round. Mm -hmm. Two of them. Okay, two. Yes, ma'am. I don't know you guys yet. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Okay, and one more. I'm sorry. Okay. All right, so let's stay over here. So real quick, it appears she, this brother, Dark Midnight, so she, <laughs> so she popped the dark guy and the short guy. What we got here? There we go. And don't know what happened, but the other shorter brother with the locks looked like maybe he popped his balloon, you know, out of a little bit of self-preservation. And you I'll say know. this. Should, should more men have popped their balloon? She acted real immature. Huh? I Immature or feminine, Mr. X? Huh? 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 She's 25. Tinder, no, no. Is she childless? What are we talking about? She make her own dress. A little artsy fartsy chick. She entrepreneur. She made her own dress. Hey, it's twenty twenty four. Okay, so there we go. We gonna let her cook. Let's see why. Let's see if she lies about this. There we go. If we can have your name and how old you are. Uh, my name is Madid and I'm thirty two. And Madid, what do you do? I'm in finance. I do compliance analysis, but I'm also an entrepreneur. Okay. Uh, a lot of side, you know, side gigs. All right, nice. Okay. All right, and so Corey, why did you end up popping his balloon? Um, just the attraction level. It's not there for me. Okay. And so you know, that's about it. Okay. That's all I can say. <laughs> hey, I respect that. <laughs> all right, and now, uh, Madi, why did you leave your balloon unpopped for her? Uh, she's a gorgeous woman, you know. Uh, you know, I like her style and the fact that she said she made the dress herself, you know, uh, well put together. And, you know, obviously she's in real estate, looks like a woman that, you know, has something going on for herself and, you know, probably knows what she wants. But, hey, 
you know, she made the choice. <laughs> Thank you. All Thank right. you. Thank you. Let's go back over to our first guy that you ended up popping. Okay. We'll come oh, back for you. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. So why did we end up popping his balloon? Just the attraction level again. Again, That's okay. It. okay. Nothing personal. I don't know. But maybe if we had a conversation, it could have been different. But just off of the attraction level so far for okay. me. She's been real vague. I guess I can respect it, but not really. Because you sit, uh, attraction, attraction. Say, you too short. Tell the other guy, you too dark. Whatever the case may be. But <laughs> she just, she just bullying it. She just saying attraction, attraction. There you go. A little bit of social awkwardness. She don't know what to say. She just like, she being vague. And the correct answer is within that vague answer, attraction. What exactly? Use your imagination. <laughs> so, shout out to E.V. Ray. He says, why do modern women always put A after everything? Like, I know what you mean. Don't know. Guess it sound cute, they think. Mm -hmm. It's feminine. Here we go. There you go, feminine. That's funny. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and now, why did you have your balloon? Oh, I'm sorry. Could we have your name and how old you are? David, 34. Okay. And David, what do you do? I cut grass. Okay, like a landscaper? Okay. So I'm oh. a landscaping company. Oh, nice. Okay, cool, cool. And now, why did you leave your balloon unpopped for Corey? Uh, <clears throat> I honestly don't know why. I just left it open. Okay. <laughs> okay, so is she your type? Is no. she someone? Okay, and why not? Uh, well, I just... <clears throat> I'm sorry. She... I laugh a lot. <laughs> it's okay. No, she's just not my type. It's not that she's ugly. Okay. <laughs> it's not my type. Okay. That's socially awkward. Uh, immature. Like, say, I yeah, don't know. I'm sorry. It's a cocktail. Right. Oh, I wasn't catching that. I wasn't catching that. I said, wow. Like, whoa. That's not bubbly. Yeah, you can't just be sitting there laughing and giggling. Like, no. You know, see what I'm saying? I don't know what that is. I don't. I got to leave it alone, man. Because, yeah. But look, I can't do it. No. Yeah, she laughed in his face. And like he said, he's a landscaper, but he's presenting himself real professional. Three, you would have thought he was a lawyer. But he's looking at her, and, and he's sort of capping too. He's like, look, you halfway naked. Tell the truth. So I don't want no woman walking around like this. Look, I'm up here stuttering and jumbling because there's nothing that he really should say to her at this point. Nothing. Just turn his back. Excuse my back, Miss Ma'am. That's it. You giggling and laughing with your socially awkward self. That's not how we communicate as adults. No, unacceptable. 100% unacceptable. Well, this is my first time. I'm not used to unacceptable. You don't qualify. <laughs> So here we go. Hit the like button. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're fine. Let's go on over to our guy who ended up popping his balloon. All right, sir, if we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Joseph Smith. I'm 37. And Joseph, what do you do? I'm an Uber and Lyft driver full time. Okay. All yeah. right. And why did you end up popping your balloon? I don't know. It's the knee, the right knee. You got something going on. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I got eczema. <laughs> and I use coconut oh. oil. <clears throat> yeah, zoom in on that. Um, Please. And I just don't know why it's like that. So I seen it, and I was like, she not going to take my coconut oil <laughs> regimen seriously. Okay. Everything else looked moisturized, you know, but I seen that, Ooh. and that was, that was kind of a red flag. Okay. Ooh. That's it. That's it. That's the only thing. Just the knee. Just okay. the knee. Right one. Dang. <laughs> you just did me. <laughs> no, it's, I mean, everything else is good. You're beautiful. Ooh. But that right there, to me, I got to be moisturized. I feel you. Yeah. I actually fail. <laughs> you fail? I fail. And I was thinking of something like that. I was thinking of something I fell like that. In this, in this healing process. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. But you got to take I care understand. of it. Y'all take care of it. Yeah, it's healing. So, yeah. all right. Listen, this girl's really mature. Y'all see her? She keeps laughing. You'll be in the middle of uh, clapping cheeks. She might start laughing. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You talking about what you what's for dinner? She just break out laughing. It's just I don't know. <laughs> now she definitely has like this weird, you know, 
uh awkward laugh at the same time she able to laugh at herself he out here talking about her busted knee and she's like yeah you did me wrong she said yep i fell you right and i'm healing she didn't she didn't puff up her chest listen here i get it negative one point for socially awkward and goofy and silly but listen here there's some femininity in there in that goofy goober here huh she didn't buck her chest up she said you're right you're right i'm just observing <laughs> here we go hit the like button now corey is he your type say the truth don't look at me what's what i'm just looking at you so i can analyze you oh, okay. so I can... go ahead corey I, mm. Um, you say you were 37? 37. Just based off of the age, no. It's okay. a little too old for me. I feel it, damn. Ooh. Mm. Damn. Mm. Okay, so just his mm. age. Damn, y'all 37? Y'all 40? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go on over to our next balloon pop. <laughs> if we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Josh, I'm 37. Okay, Josh, and what do you do? I trade stocks and I receive a military pension. All right. Okay. And now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, I'm 37. <laughs> so she said right there, like, <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm doing now. <laughs> okay. And now, apart from her saying, you know, 37 is a little too old for her, is she someone that's your type? Mm, I mean, yes. But, like, the knee thing, like, oh. he pointed out, I was like, ah, he's... Cause I saw the same thing, but I just, I didn't want to, I wanted to see what she was about. Okay. I think we're kind of like-minded, but I'm 37, 25, yeah. but she's beautiful though. She is beautiful. Thank you. Definitely Thank my you. type. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And now Corey, is, is he your type? Once again, based off the age 37, mm -hmm. I was 25. <laughs> That's a little too old for oh, okay. me. Okay. That's, you incorrect, sister. If you want to be keep riding the carousel, go ahead. 37, that's not too old. These guys talking about they got pensions, military, own companies. These are the and then this woman want to keep playing through her 20s. Then she'll get 35 with kids, and then she's gonna want these men. And then at that point, she won't qualify for what she may qualify for now. Simple math, plain and simple. As of right now. She can get what we talked about last night. She can get those autumns in the backyard around the fireplace, you know what I'm saying, sipping wine, watching the kids and her dog run around. She can get that right this moment. But if she want to keep living hot girl summer for the foreseeable future, that ninja standing in front of in front of her right now, looking and hoping at a chance, she won't qualify for. And she'll be a, another, like, another and then, better and single woman. <laughs> I say on the flip side, what about the men? They keep talking about her knee. I don't know nothing about it. What are we talking about, fellas? Yeah, yeah, listen here. <laughs> That's what they talking about, the knee. Where my wife at? No, no. nobody care about no dang on knee, man, <laughs> at all. Got a little scar. That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing but an icebreaker. No, that's a conversation starter. Talk, I ain't worried about no scraped knee. What the heck? <laughs> so, so, like I said, that, I mean, that lets you know that she, you know, she looks good. If I got to be like, hey, your pinky toe or your knee or, you know. Yeah, I can't I can't jump on that crazy train of put, picking out her knee. That made no sense to me in the slightest. Yeah, stop the cap now. But before we get keep letting her going, I'm gonna go over and check her IG out real quick. Let's see, let's see if we're missing something here. There we go. Come on, sister. There we go. Nice and modest. Then here we go. Now she listen, <laughs> any woman this age, around this age or younger, they already are pre-qualified to be corrupted. Y'all got to take that with a grain of salt, all y'all folks out there still dating. Like, she come kind of pre-corrupted, but it's going to take you. You got to go win, all right? Like Neo in the Matrix, and you got to you gotta fight against the bots in her brain, making mm -hmm. her want to do Hot Girl Summer and try to be a model in the hood. Like, this ain't it. See that? You got to get that orange wig off her head. 
Uh, you got to do that. It's over. It ain't worth it. <laughs> it ain't worth it. The juice ain't worth the squeeze. Mm. All right. It just ain't. Hey. Listen, for the right kind of guy, there's lanes to this. For the right hey. guy, see, and they, at this age, the guy that she will be feminine and cooperative for, he'll take her at this age. As long as she ain't got no kids. Yeah. This is it. This is as good as it gets for her. She's 25 when she turned 26, 27, 28, 29, and then it's bad. <laughs> so that's her. Uh, we're going to let her keep cooking. Shout out to DB. Come through sponsoring the show. And Appreciate it. Who's the master? He says, the knee going to get bruised eventually. I'd be more you know. worried about the scars and lacerations on that meow. <laughs> I knew I was waiting, and it was gonna be you who's the master. <laughs> All right, let's go back. We had one over here. Ooh, oh, right here. <laughs> okay, if we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Eric. I am thirty-eight. Okay, Eric, and what do you do? Um, I train animals, and I'm in advertising as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. And now. You emphasize 38, so I'm guessing just, that's... that's uh, that, yeah, I just figured I'd save myself the trouble. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, apart from, you know, popping because she said 37, right. 38 is a little too old for her. Is she someone that you would approach? Yes. Okay. And why so? Uh, I like the fact that she likes fashion, mm -hmm. and I'm very fashion conscious as well. Okay. So for me, I thought that was a good plus, and she seems well put together as well. So, okay. yeah. Cool. Thank you. And now, Corey, apart from the age... If he were someone that were to approach you, would you be down with now that? Now, this one here, where you look, I mean, change, your, yeah. change your mind, it's okay. <laughs> if it, if my knee doesn't bother you because no. I failed. No, no. I, I have I have scars on my knee from <laughs> riding a from riding a motorcycle as well. I okay. fell, so. Okay. Yeah, okay. That, wouldn't, that wouldn't bother me. I like scars. I like the scar on her. Oh, on thank her you. I got eye. a few scars, baby. Yeah, yeah. A few of them. But yeah. thank you. Okay. But so, you know, he's cute. He's handsome. Okay. He's well put together. Yeah. <laughs> like the locks. You yeah. have them nice and done. And thank you. Yeah, what not? Like yeah, look at that. That's a different <laughs> that design for me. Yeah, yeah, you know, we, we pay a lot for this. So, <laughs> gotta show it off when we can. So. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you. No All right. So, we still do have a few balloons unpopped. So, did you have a question you wanted to ask the guys to help you narrow it down? Um, do you guys have kids? Okay. How many? How many? Let's go down over there to the ones that have kids. Oh, let's back it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if we can have your name and how old you are. Uh, my name is Obi. I'm 30 years old. 30. Okay, and Obi, what do you do? I am a maintenance technician. A maintenance technician. Okay, and now um, she asked if you have kids. How many kids do you have? I got three. Three kids. <laughs> I got three. Okay. All right, we'll be back. Let's go get the other two. <laughs> All right, if we can have your name and how old you are. Uh, Miko Patron, uh, 37. Okay, and Miko, what do you do? Uh, welding engineering. Okay, all right. And now, how many kids do you have? I got two, two little girls. Two kids, okay. okay. All right, let's go to our next guy. Your name and how old you are. I'm Sean, I'm 32. Okay, and what do you do, Sean? I'm an SER, uh, sales development representative, and I work for Amazon. Okay. And how many kids do you have? I have two kids of my own. Two. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, Corey, are children a deal breaker for you? Uh, I have one more question. Okay. How many baby mothers do you all have? Deal breaker, baby. <laughs> deal breaker. And now, why did you have your balloon unpopped for Corey? Uh, well, she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, I was interested to hear what else uh, she would have to say. Any other questions? Um, I already knew the complications <laughs> that would come into this. So I just wanted to see, wait it out. And it's a deal breaker. So I'm good. Yeah. I'm living my life. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And now, same for you as well. How many baby mothers? Same baby mama. One baby mama. 
One V one, two cherry. Two cherry. Okay. Is that? Can I come back? You want to? Okay, we'll come back for you then. She wants to give you a pass, so let's go. Oh, he ended up popping. Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so why did we end up popping our balloon? Um, just in general, just already knowing that you know you already don't like people with kids. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to you know interrupt nothing that you got going on. So I mean, baby I'm mamas, did you? <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right. Thank you for that. So here we, <laughs> here we go. This is just a tough cookie. She figured that she's the prize, quote unquote, and she's looking for a particular kind of guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that brother, that tall brother there, he capping. He gonna say, you know, I know she said kiss was a deal breaker, so I'm gonna let her go. No, when she said that, ninja at the end. His two for two for the dude breaker. He up here like, yeah, I know for sure. I'm three for three. He said, like, I ain't even gonna play with it. <laughs> smart. That smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, his answer was smart. I'm just calling him out. But very smart, brother. But I got it. I see you. <laughs> so there you go. You can't have kids. Like you say, a lot of these women, she here for exposure. If if you know Idris Alba the rock. And all her favorite guys wasn't standing out here. She wasn't going for it. Because my yeah. question is this: Before we keep going on tonight, is when these women walk in the room, at what point? How quickly would they know which one of these guys they desire? They don't even have to hear you talk. Am I wrong? You know what? That's a heck of a good question, man. I was thinking the same thing. If if he capital H, capital E, if he was standing in front of her, would she be able to identify him? And I'm saying no, they wouldn't. I'm saying people like that one brother, the tall, awkward brother with the turtleneck that, that looked like he was about to storm off the stage. Brothers like him, that's really him. That's y'all build the bay type ninjas, but y'all think he lame in a square. It's unfortunate. <laughs> so... Here we go. Hit the like button if you're just coming in. Let her land this plane. So, we do have our one guy left. <clears throat> Did you have any other questions for him that you wanted to ask him? Um, I, yes. Okay, let's go on over to him. Yes. <laughs> All right, go ahead. So, have you ever been married before? Never. Hmm. Do you live, growing up, did you live in a two-parent household? Nope. Lived by myself, I was. Lived by yourself always? I was. So you raised yourself? No, I really raised myself, but since I was 20, I've been living by myself. So who raised you? My mother. Just your mom? Just my mom. Hmm. Do you know your father? I know my dad. Do you have a relationship with him? Yes, I do. Good one or bad? Good. That's good. That's good. Okay. I'm 50-50 because of the kid part. Okay. You know, that's it. There's a reason it's there, just, but that's all right. <laughs> I don't have children. Okay. I don't know. I want some maybe later on in life. I can't do the baby mom drum stuff. I don't know if you guys have it or not. But My baby mama cool, laid back. <laughs> she married already. She already married. She already married to another guy. I know that. So right. I'm just me. Her I'm just doing me. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm just say no. Okay. I'm okay. sorry. And you can go ahead and pop it for. Her. <laughs> All right. So why did you end up going with no? Cause the kids are a deal breaker for me. Okay, okay. I want somebody that doesn't have kids and we can share the experience together. Okay. He already has two, so you done been there, done it twice. <laughs> and the third time we Okay. You know? And I need to do it one, I mean second or third, because the first one, the second one, I want it to be the one legit. That's mm. it. Shit okay. happened. But the second one, I want it to be legit. I feel that. Yeah. I feel that. That was okay. nice. All right. Well, 
Corey, that is all the balloons popped. Yeah. Fortunately, we weren't able to find you a match today, but thank you so much for coming on. Aw, y'all about to have so much fun with all the other ladies back there. Ooh, <laughs> can't wait for y'all to see. All right, um, let's give it up for her. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, my. So here we go. She come off like a young Ebony K, and she up here. She said, I don't want to have kids until later in life, when she's 35, 40. Then she might consider one of you ninjas for IVF only. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Wicked work. But right now, sister, she's right and she's wrong at the same time. I don't think she is too off base for wanting what she wants, but she don't know right now it's game time. It's fourth and one. All right. On the five yard line, you got to punch it in right now. Ain't no other choice, but she thinks she got time. Hence, her goofiness and arrogance. No, sister, you better get in the presence of him so he can see you, impress him, and get out the way. Otherwise, it's going to be a harsh one for you. So here we go. We're going to bring the junior band out on her. There we go. <laughs> down on the arrogance do you think sister just get that laser like focus you better get in his presence right now are you 25 can you start reaching up towards 26 27 and all that giggle giggle go go away i assure you <laughs> that part so if you're just coming in hit the like button